Okay, um, I've got a new washing machine. My old one went knackered, so I've thrown it out. So I've got a quieter model now. So apologies to all the guys who were fans of all the noise. Well, it's still pretty noisy, but <laughs> anyway, shut up. I'm talking about beer. Right then, Maui Brewery. I've tried their wheat beer, which was really nice. This is one I'm really looking forward to. I've got this one from Swerp. Swerp from Slurp and it's uh, their big swell IPA and it comes in a can. I love IPAs in cans. Personally I think they keep them so fresh especially if you're getting them from the States or anywhere else. These guys, the Maui Brewing Company are from Hawaii. Um, like I said you can get this one on Slurp, slurpbeer.co.uk, something like that. So anyway, let's get cracking. I think the only other, I've well, had a couple of IPAs in cans and pale ales. Uh, the Caldera Brewing Company, Third Eye, they're all really, really nice, uh, really fresh. And this one looks just as gorgeous, look at that, lovely golden orange haze, big massive white head. Um, just looking really, really good. Uh, let's, give it a, let's give it a sniff. Hmm. Wow. It's um. Oh, it's really sort of malty grapefruit. It's not sort of powerful and zesty. It's more um. I don't know, like um, like a mould grapefruit, like a one that's been um boiled or something like that, and it's sort of um taken away a bit of the sharpness and just giving it a powerful malty sort of smell. I'm also getting like a, a dark brown bread smell as well, which is really strange. I was expecting it to be really sort of zesty, but it's powerful. It's got a powerful smell to it. Right, I'm just going to get stuck in. Cheers, guys. Hmm. Mm, it's nice. It's not as powerful as I thought it was going to be. Um, I think my problem is when I was, when I when I try American IPAs, I think they're all going to be hot bombs, you know, all over the place, and they're not always going to be like that. Sometimes they're going to be very balanced, but still flavorful, like this one. Um, mm. The first hit you're getting is like a almost like a honeycomb grapefruit. Um, nice sort of malty, um, comforting flavours, um, which then fade and then you get this lovely bitterness which um, coats the roof of your mouth and the back of your tongue completely. Um, it's not a powerful off-putting bitterness or extreme bitterness, which, which, I, which I like, I really like that, but but it's a lovely, just a really nice bitterness. I can't describe it as anything other than that. Um, to someone who's not experienced IPAs, maybe you probably wouldn't like this one that much because it has got some big flavours, but, but you know, if you like your Sierra Nevada Pale Ales, if you like your, you know, your Torpedoes, your Odells and all that sort of stuff, you can't go wrong with that. That is a really, really nice IPA. Um, so fresh tasting as well. I mean, look, it's got some lovely, Lovely lacing on it, it's got a nice head that's just sticking around. Big sweet notes. You're getting caramel, um, blood orange, uh, big grapefruits, and then that lovely drying bitterness at the end, which just encircles the mouth and um, just, just gives it a bloody lovely finish. Um, 9 out of 10. That is a beautiful IPA, really, really nice. Um, like I said, get on Slurp, they're selling this one. I've got a couple more from the um, Maui Brewing Company to try. I've got their Coconut Porter, which I sent to Terry Kay, which I'm really looking forward to, but I'm going to have that in the evening. And also their Bikini Blonde, which I might do after this. But for now, 
Beautiful IPA. Great stuff. Cheers.